This is the most exciting day ever on the Ginger on Wheels YouTube channel. Inside this box, thanks to eWheels, is a Weeped FS. And in case you're not familiar, it's one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive electric scooters of all time. It goes 74 miles per hour, has 93 miles on one charge with a 72 volt, 50 amp hour battery, and has 30,000 watts of output power, as in like 30 kilowatts of output power. This thing just showed up from Korea, and there's nothing more that I want to do in my human existence than open this box right now. So I'm gonna roll the intro, I'm gonna grab a box cutter, and we're gonna be the first people in the world to take an up close look at this scooter. So subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get ready to open this thing up. Okay, so this is it, the uh, FS. It says FS on the top of the box. This is the scooter's first time seeing natural daylight since it left Korea. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. This is worthy of a gander. I don't know how well you can see inside that box, but it looks like I imagined it would. Just the most insane scooter ever of all time. And that little latch thing is so blinged out. Yeah, let's get this thing out of the box. This is gonna be a heavy lift though, so I'm gonna have to bring in a, a buddy here. Let's get this thing out of the box. Looks like there's two big pieces of foam on either side. And two big pieces in the middle. It's actually really easy. So I know it locks into place, so all we're gonna have to do is just lift by the frame up onto the table. Oh, wow, uh, just wow. Okay, so like I said, the box is actually really simple. There's just four chunks of foam that look like this, and then the scooter with this little package here, and it has keys. So they did a really nice job with the packaging. I'm gonna try with no manual to unfold this thing. So, got a pin back here, big old fat gold pin I just pulled out of the stem. Oh, and we're moving. Could it be that easy? This is an excellent design. It's so simple and straightforward and it makes me wonder why didn't anyone else think of this before? <laughs> There's so many wobbly, just bad designs for folding mechanisms out there, but this one's just simple. Okay, so check out this folding design. When the scooter handlebars are folded down, this hole lines up with this hole here and you just slide the pin through right there and it locks the handlebars in place. When you want to unfold it, you take the pin out, push the handlebars up, and then underneath here, there's another little hole at the base of the handlebars that lines up with the frame and you just slide the pin through there and now the bars are locked in place. I also noticed while I was back here that the kickstand has wires going to it, which means it's gonna have some fun LED lights. And those are those little wheels at the bottom there, those little caster rolling wheels. You can roll the scooter while it's folded up. You can see underneath here, this is the back tire of the scooter. That's where the rear suspension is. So the rear suspension, or the rear tire, I'm guessing, I know. I just pull this pin out, fold the tire down into place, and then push the pin back in through there, and the tire will be locked into place. Okay, so here's the pin in the back. Pull the pin out, and you take this whole entire thing, the whole entire tire, and then underneath the scooter here, I'm just gonna slide the pin in that other hole that I showed you. It's kinda awkward to do, really, but. It's in. Dang. And that's a Weep Head FS. This is the rear tire all set up. It's got a sexy little bikini fender back there too. This is not for riding in the rain or off-road. That fender is mostly for like tiny little puddles or aesthetics. Let's measure how big the uh, disc brakes are. It's hard to measure these exactly because I can't get you know right in the middle here, but it looks like they're either 155 or 160. Check this out on the rear fender here. This is the rear fender. It's got some LED lights in the back. I'm guessing these are brake lights. There are lots of screws all over this scooter and I don't know how I feel about that. It's a lot of things to make sure stay tight, you know? Screws love to rattle loose on every scooter I've ever ridden. So unless they already did the work for you and Loctited these in, makes me kind of wary. Like there's probably 20 screws just on the front fork alone. The aesthetic of this scooter is sort of like a love it or hate it thing. People either really like the stem and they think it's extra futuristic looking, or they just think it's weird. 
but I thought it was weird when I first saw it, but this thing has grown on me. It needs to stand out. It's the scooter, you know? I say we put this thing on the ground and turn it on. Put the keys in and boot her up. You turn the key and you can hear the two fans in the deck immediately spool up. And I also got some red lights in the back here. So I know I'm in business. If I push this light button up here on the handlebars, you can see it's got speeds one, two, and three are actually on a switch, which is the first for me. I've never seen that. But that red button is just for the lights and the lights will activate the two side weep head logos and then the LEDs in the kickstand. So you can see for me, I got logos on the kickstand and then on the left and right side and I've got brake lights. No lights in the stem on the scooter. I think that's an added option, but I did not opt for that. Okay, well, this is it, the Weephead FS. This is gonna be my official first ride. You can hear the fan in there whirring probably. When you turn the key on, the fan automatically turns on. It's got a lights button here that just controls the LEDs on the logos on the side and the kickstand. Speed mode one, two, and three with a little switch here. Volt readout and thumb throttle, and that's all you get. It's got nut hydraulic brakes. I don't know if it has regen braking, but well, we'll see. Holy smokes. It's gonna take a while just to get used to turning on this thing. The tires are so wide, I don't even need hands. <laughs> They're just flat on the bottom. The suspension is ultra rigid. Even me, 200 pounds or so, jumping up and down on it, I don't think I can bottom it out. Oh man, holy mother of pearl. Is that real? Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, turning on this thing is really weird. This is gonna take some serious getting used to. I might not even take it out of speed mode one for a while and get used to this turning. These tires are something else. It almost feels like it's fighting against me when I turn. It's fighting to straighten itself back out. You know, you gotta rock to the left to turn the scooter, and rock to the right to turn the scooter, but as soon as I rock it to the left, it wants to go back to center. <laughs> Just so hellaciously fast. What on earth? Okay, no regen braking. It doesn't appear anyway. Yeah, that's just hydraulic disc brakes. I am having a really hard time getting used to this thing, riding it. Like, I'm not joking when I say you can ride it with no hands. The tires are flat. Like, it just... I'm pretty sure you can stand this scooter up and it will just stay upright. You can. The tires are that wide. Okay, let's take it on this road here. I've got my knee pads on, but full face helmet, gloves, best I can do, really no elbow pads. Okay, here we go. So this is gonna be speed mode one. There's no speedometer on this thing, by the way. All right. So we're in speed mode one at full throttle right now. And I'm guessing this is about maybe 23 miles an hour. I'm gonna flip it into speed mode three and see if there's more torque. I'm not even sure. So this is two. Oh my God, there is. That wasn't all the power in speed mode one. That was the third of the power. What? No way. This thing isn't safe. This thing is not safe. Is that real? Oh my Lord. Oh my, that's speed mode two. What's speed mode three? Holy crap. What? What? <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> I'm almost scared to go faster than 20 on this thing. This thing has an insane amount of power. Wow. There's two Wolf Warriors in each tire, you guys. I can't even believe that. That is just, that's like the first time you get in a Tesla and someone goes zero to 60, looking at you, William, and your mind just gets reprogrammed. 
Did I just break all other scooters for me? I feel like nothing's gonna be fun after this. That, this thing's like a rocket ship. This is like a missile. The handlebars are not sturdy enough for this kind of scooter. This is insane. I'm in speed mode three though, and it is pretty easy to cruise. If it, if it didn't have the thumb throttle, this thing would be just impossible to ride. I don't know, I can't imagine. Oh, Ryan's have thumb throttles too. Yeah, this thing would be impossible to ride with a tr trigger throttle. There's a reason they did the thumb. Because you have to push your thumb into the grip and into this little mounting plate to give it like a reference point and then just kind of do like micro movements like this with your thumb to accelerate. But if, you're, if your thumb isn't attached to anything else and you're just pushing the accelerator, it's really easy to hit a bump and just send yourself into outer space. I feel like I can seriously go to outer space on this thing. It's too fast. I'm gonna hurt myself on this thing. I am gonna hurt myself on this. I'm gonna flip it into speed mode one and go home and then just ride this another day when I have better gear. This is way too insane of a scooter to be riding in just a mountain biking helmet and some knee pads. I didn't think that this was physically possible to do. I really didn't. I thought there were there were electrical limitations to this amount of power, but clearly there are. Oh my god! Uh, your boy just had his mind completely blown by a scooter. I didn't think that was possible to do. Any, I need to get off and look at this thing again. Are you real? Is this th a thing? Holy smokes! Wow. This thing is a... Just wow. The acceleration. See, can you see this? You know how much torque it takes to get a five and a half inch wide tire to burn rubber with 200 pounds standing on top of it? It takes about 30 kilowatts. <laughs> That's how much power it takes. What on, this thing is faster than the Wolf Warrior in speed mode two. That was seriously like a zero to 50 run in a couple of seconds. Okay, we're going about 25. Oh my Lord. Oh my god we were going so fast that i was actually scared to take my hand off the handlebars to grab for the brakes <laughs> well there you have it folks the first ride on the weephead fs this thing scares me it's too fast this thing is a rocket ship made of teslas and i don't know how to translate to you i can't communicate to you how fast it actually is so all i gotta say is like buy one ride one for yourself if you ever can this is a life-changing experience i don't know what other scooters are going to feel like now subscribe to the channel to see more rides on this thing i'll be doing a range test i'll do the saturday night ride on this thing i'm going to do like a full review if i have time but this scooter has got my full attention now